Well, 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 Liverpool fans. Uh, all of a sudden, Mr. Big George uh, has come through the door and there's already transfer talks with other players. What can I say about that? Um, nothing but brilliant. Um, I didn't expect any transfers to start as soon as he walked in through the door. Yeah, not bad, Mr. Big George. Let's do this. Let's talk about this as well. Let's talk about this new transfer news that's just come up recently. Let's do this, people. Let's do this. Hello, everyone. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily contents. fellow fans before we start please hit that subscription button notification button and like button as you can see right over there rare 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 you can see it's 771 let's get to 800 man let's get to 800 the road to 1000 as everybody knows um please follow us on our social media which is facebook twitch twitter instagram and youtube of course um so mr jo york smacky is already dipped his fingers in the transfer window wow i like that i like that you know i mean the season's just ended and i'm gonna go to liverpool football club and i'm gonna go and get some players who could compete for next season the title or europa league or fa cup or league cup you know what i mean so he's already thinking that way that's what i want i've always said that the issues we have at liverpool football club is we don't react quick enough you know what i mean and uh, everything we do is reacted too late by the time a lot of play, a lot of a lot of football clubs are chasing those players. You know, what I mean, it shouldn't be like that. So, let me start with the first player, uh, Mister Big George has gone for is uh, Manu Kone uh, from Borussia Mönchengladbach. He, he will cost around forty million, from what I saw. It's not bad at all. You know, I mean, you're not spending a lot. You're not going to this transfer extend of like uh, Chelsea. Uh, buying Enzo Fernandez for over 100 million we're not doing things like that at Liverpool Football Club people like you know we're more you know clued on in transfers and um, he's he's good he's good from what I saw the clips I saw of it but uh, you know clips can be deceiving at times they could give you uh, a player that you want to see but he's really not that player you get what I'm saying yeah that can happen that can happen I've seen that with Lucas Leiber when he arrived at Liverpool uh, checked him on, 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 on YouTube thinking like oh wow what a player he can score goals he can dribble from the midfield he creates chances he's a leader you know what I mean don't, don't get me wrong he did his bits at Liverpool but he's not the player I expected at Liverpool the way I saw him on the clips of YouTube uh, but Manu Kone a lot of Liverpool fans especially on Twitter have been talking about him for a long long time and uh, I trust their judgment uh, majority of the time and yeah I, 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 I'm, I'm all for it I'm all for it I hope uh, we'll get this over the line because what I like about him not only is he is he uh, like technically good he's brave and he will get stuck into the tackles as well which we're missing in that midfield if you look at our midfield we don't you no, know, when do we ever slide tackle? When do we ever, you know, apart from Fabinho, maybe, but the rest of them have the clean shorts, clean socks, clean boots. You know what I mean? So this is what we've got to go get away from. In order for you to win games, you have to win the battles as well as the, you know, uh, the, the the technical side of things. If you win your battles, everything will come come together. So that's how I see it when I watch football. This is how I see it when I play football as well. Um, and he looks like he looks like a pest in that midfield. He, he goes for like tackles. He goes for, uh, you know, he, he gets the ball and runs runs with it from deep with pace and power towards the opponents. So, yeah, I'm impressed. I'm impressed from what I saw. What I saw. So what I saw. That's all I'm talking about. And I have discussed that with Liverpool fans as well. And they they really really um, want to get him. So yeah, Manuel Kone to Liverpool, forty million. Is a possibility. Liverpool already talking to Borussia Mönchengladbach over, over over the signing of him. Let's hope it gets over the line. So the next one is 
um, I don't know how to say his first name, Kovrin Toram. He's Lilio Toram's son. Uh, there's two of them. I think one plays in Germany and this one plays in Nice. Unfortunately, Nice is owned by G G Jim Ratcliffe. I'm not even going to call him Sir because he's, he's a Man United fan. He wants to buy Man United as well. So, is this transfer going to go over the line with him? He's a forward. He could play out wide, he could play just off the striker as well and he's very very intelligent from what I've seen with his passing ability and he's technically, you know, technically good. Um, I've seen him but not to the extent that I know a lot about him. Um, his pace and power, he, he, he could do a lot, a lot more damage um, obviously in the other half of the pitch. He's worth 60 million euros, which is equivalent of like 55 million probably in pounds. Um, he's also, I think his age is the same as uh, Kone, I believe. Um, yeah, he's 22. And the future looks bright for him as well. Um, I, I'm not here to give you false information. That's what I don't do. I give you information as aggregate as possible you know i mean and uh, this kid has already made a um, debut for france he has he has one cap um and if we get him it'll be brilliant but you know the main night connection it could be difficult for us to get that over the line as well so don't be over excited for Turam to come to liverpool um jim ratcliffe could be the potential owner of Man United. He might want to take him down there. You know what I mean? And you know, make them better instead of like making Liverpool Football Club better. And not only that, even if he doesn't buy Man buy Man United, he's a Man United fan. So it's a bit difficult for us, probably in that in that way of thinking as well. Um, I like him. I like him from from what I saw. I'm only saying like. I'm not gonna go over the top thinking. Oh, they're brilliant. They are this world and all this stuff. What you see is what you get so far. But when they come to the team, it could be a different thing you're seeing, if you know what I mean. So we've we've already experienced that with Naby Keita and players like that. Uh, don't get me wrong, Naby Keita is a fantastic player, but his injuries have got hold of him and he just couldn't make it at Liverpool. Uh, and hence why he has to leave at the end of the season for free transfer. Well, well we bought him for 55 million and get, get rid of him for free. Did that happen before at Liverpool Football Club? Maybe, 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 maybe. Yeah, so that's how I see these two players. Um, they look brilliant on the eye but are they going to be the same when they arrive at Liverpool and um, show us their you know skills or lack of skills whatever it is yeah so that's what I've got for you so far hopefully I'll be back tomorrow and we could discuss more transfers like what positions that need to be sorted out with the tactical board and uh, see how we go from there yeah so that's what I've got for you Kone and Toram to Liverpool hopefully is true and it gets over the line um and we'll see where we go from there if you know what i mean yeah the, the transfer is not a lot let's be honest here people like we're not spending 100 million on one player or anything like that if we get we could get like 100 million for two or three players that, that's a bonus isn't it yeah so please like share and subscribe i hope you enjoyed this um yeah say what you think on the comment down below and uh, yeah i'll get back to you as soon as possible take care everybody take care See you soon.